Welcome to another edition of iNegro News. So, in today's episode, we go up to Manitoba, Canada. Or I should have just said Canada, because it's all the same. It doesn't matter if it's a city or a province. It's just Canada, man. Anyways, this young lady was at the mall, and apparently, security didn't like what she was wearing. Let's go to the studio. A Manitoba woman says she was escorted out of a Winnipeg mall because of what she was wearing. CTV's Beth McDonnell joins us now in studio to explain. Hey Beth, what was wrong with the, the woman's outfit? Sierra Anderson still isn't sure exactly what security staff didn't like about her clothing. As a young woman with a sense of style, she says she's used to getting reaction to her appearance, but has never been forced to leave a business. It makes no sense to me. Sierra Anderson has a distinct and colorful sense of style. Monday, the 21-year-old put on what she calls a cute and comfortable summer outfit. Shorts, a crop top, and a long vest. A trip to Kildonan Place to replace her phone made her feel very uncomfortable when a security guard approached her. So what did they say? That I needed to leave the mall immediately or they would charge me with public indecency. I was like, I don't understand what you mean. She motioned to my body and told me that it was indecent and repeated that I needed to leave immediately or face charges. Anderson says security escorted her out of line and out of the mall with no opportunity to finish her shopping. She left feeling shocked and ashamed. I wasted time, money. I felt completely humiliated. Like it was embarrassing to go walk through the mall while everybody could watch this happening. Kildone in place management called Anderson to apologize and says it will be sitting down with the contract security company to review how the incident was handled. In a statement, the mall says, In our mind, this never should have happened, and we will work to ensure this never happens again. Anybody who doesn't have my confidence to hear that, because it even hurt me. Anderson says what happened is even more surprising. The shorts she was wearing, she bought them at Kildone in place. She appreciates the mall's apology, but says it doesn't go far enough. From what I've been told, that indecency is, you know, any type of nudity inappropriateness and none of that was happening like this doesn't just affect me this affects a lot of other people as well Beth I have to ask will there be any repercussions for the security guards at the mall over this Kildone in place says the security staff involved will no longer be working at the shopping center Anderson says she was told by security they could press charges of public indecency so this sparked my interest I asked Winnipeg police about this they say telling Anderson that is not criminal harassment it's just a false statement all right thanks for this Beth first of all that chick is freaking cute she's a little younger than what I normally date but uh, in this case, I'm willing to go outside of my age range to formerly date her. She had a nice corset on. She's kind of soft, a little pudgy, but uh, definitely cute, smoking, smoking attractive, cool purple hair. It, who's this punk ass security guard going up to her? L listen, it, it, the, the security guard was probably a Bible thumping, jealous scumbag who's just mad and jealous because she's young and gorgeous and beautiful and the security guard is a fat slob that's all that is that's my opinion i'm black bigot and that's the news man